Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the abacus. The abacus is an ancient device which was used to make calculations many years ago. A sketch of a simple abacus can be seen below. Beads are placed on the vertical rods and each bead represents a place value depending on the position of the rod. So here just pretend these are columns, so that's the ones rod or the ones column, the tens column and the hundreds column. So for each of the following state the number which is represented by the abacus using the three notations. So they're the three notations that we used earlier. The ordinary numeral is 432 because you've got four beads, three beads, two beads, so 432. In words 432 because remember you've got hundreds, tens and ones. In expanded notation 4 times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 2 times 1. Over here let's have a look what we have here. We've got two beads there, no beads here and four beads there so it's 204. So as an ordinary numeral, 204, in words, 204, and in expanded notation, 2 times 100 plus 0 times 10 plus 4 times 1. Here we have to place the correct beads on each abacus to make the given number. So 435, so that's the hundreds column, the tens column and the ones column. So just place the correct beads to make that number. And the same here, 502. Place the correct beads to make that number. An abacus can also have a thousands rod. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So for each of the following, state the number which is represented by the abacus. So if you've got four beads, there's your four. 5 beads, there's the 5, 3 beads, there's the 3, and 1 bead, there's the 1, so it's 4,531. For the next one, you've got 2 beads in the thousands column, no beads in the 100, no beads in the 10, and 4 beads in the 1, so it's 2,004. And finally, 5 beads in the thousands column, no beads in in the hundreds, four in the tens, and no beads in the ones, so it's 5,040. So that's just been a very simple introduction to the abacus, and we've seen how to write down the numbers in the different forms, depending on the number of beads on each rod.